Alright guys, let's see how uh, much of this I can film before my battery dies. Uh, so about two years ago or so, uh, the G.I. Joeberg channel had made a comment about um, the Renegades. They're using them in some of their Playmotion videos. And uh, Paul had said something about the flak not being able to be towable, which I made this one towable. Uh, the wheels still move and uh, can be pivoted. I'll show you that later. And then I wanted some kind of wacky vehicle to go with these guys. Uh, so I got a hodgepodge of a Triple T and a Havoc. And if you look real close, you can see that the color doesn't match. And in a few spots, the paint is a little crackled. I did that on purpose. I did not prime any of these pieces or clean them. Because I wanted it to look like they just went to the uh, motor pool on base, got some junk vehicles that were blown up or whatever, stole pieces off it, threw a junk uh, coat of paint on it, and uh, just went to town. Uh, the boom box is just something funny for these guys. Uh, if we can separate this, the other side is a flamethrower. Because I just thought that would be funny. I put a skull on the front uh, with the orange, blue, and yellow to represent all their colors. Uh, I'm not really going to take these guys out. Uh, you can basically see them. He's got a he's got a pistol down in there, and the um, the joysticks are actually removable so you can put them in their hand and then slide it back on the post that I put on there uh, that way it makes it a lot easier instead of trying to, to put their hand on the joystick while it's on the vehicle because that can be a pain so there's Mercer, he's got his sidearm there And I just gave them some kind of goofy guns. He's got a big cookery knife on his leg. So this moves 360, still pivots up and down. And like I said, these, these wheels can still move. Um, I just made some brackets and put them together. This I added another grill in the front and closed in the back. Let's see if I get a better angle at this. I closed in the back there. Uh, this gun does not pivot, it's it's basically just stationary. Uh, that's about it for that. That that was easy. I just separated uh, the upper and lower chassis, cut the motor out. And I put a little, uh, some notches in there, if you can kind of see it. I can zoom in. In there, I just kind of notched both pieces. And they sit in on the sides there, and then a little bit right there. Uh, filled in this hole, which is some random piece I had. Uh, the acrylic rod is a piece of sprue from uh, the lightsaber of a Gundam. So I just cut that to size and jammed it in there. It is removable. Um, it's kind of hard to do one-handed. Uh, but I can take that out if I want to. Um, so that was just a little challenge I gave to myself because they were talking about having a wacky vehicle for the Renegades to ride around in instead of trying to cruise around on the on the foot pegs of a triple T so now they have their own little thing to, to jam out to and, and go into battle so thanks for looking and uh, sorry I didn't document this because I had actually started it uh, a year and a half ago and I uh, didn't end up get to finish it until here recently because uh, I was on deployment for a while and, and just finally getting caught up on things. 
uh, but maybe I'll start documenting uh, some of the stuff I do uh, step by step. But uh, thanks for watching.